everyone, Luke here, welcome back to the channel. So if you remember a while ago, I started making my own scooter, and the plan was to actually electrify this. But there was a few problems with the actual scooter itself, so the idea is to rectify these problems and electrify this thing. So the main problem with this scooter was the fact how it sat a little bit too low on the front end. So what I've done is I've taken off this stem, I've chopped it down a little bit, and now when I weld this back on, it should actually make the front end sit a little bit higher. And realistically, that was all that was wrong with it. Now that we're electrifying this scooter, I actually have to change our little footrest that we made. As nice as this is, it's got this little flick on the end which actually restricts me from mounting a motor. Just because there's a lot more room at the back and this is actually taking up the, the majority of it. So the idea is to cut out a nice flat plate and reuse this rubber strip right here and that will now become our foot stand. And because we already had most of the parts for this scooter, this project isn't actually going to be hard. It's just a matter of rewelding the bits that I've taken off and adding a new foot plate so there's enough room for the motor and batteries to go on the back. So, let's get it started. So I've cut out this panel which gets welded onto the bottom of the scooter right here. And what this does, it just protects it from the elements. So let's finish cleaning this up and then we can actually get this thing attached. So now that the bottom panel is now being completely cleaned, we can actually take the main frame and clean that up as well. So let's do that. So now that we've got this frame nicely cleaned up, let's weld this bottom plate on. So I've got the bottom plate welded on, and I have to admit, this lined up really nicely. And what I've also done is I've tacked in the supports for the actual headpiece. Now this headpiece goes in like this and gets welded in four places. So let's do that. There you have it, the headpiece has now been welded on and now this is incredibly strong. And if you take a look at my welds, they are coming along absolutely beautifully. So I'm going to stick this to the side now because I'm going to start thinking about the gear ratios for this. So this is the back wheel that's actually going to drive the scooter and I've got to start thinking about how I can increase the size of this sprocket right here. And I've come up with something pretty cool, so let's take a look at that. This is the bigger sprocket that I want to put on the back drive wheel and obviously we've got to make sure that this is going to be completely centred before we put it on. So I've come up with this. I've got this little steel disc here where this hole perfectly matches the axle of the wheel. And basically this, is, this gets welded on completely square. And how we're going to figure this out is by grabbing a piece of say paper or cardboard. I've marked out these holes here and here. And now this just gets put back on. And then from here, I can actually find the centre for this. And then that just gets welded together. So I thought that was pretty clever. And now when that's welded together, this goes onto the axle like so. And then this gets welded to the actual drive sprocket here. That's how we're making our drive sprocket. So now we've got to think about how we're actually going to get this motor to drive that cog. Because... The sprocket that already come on this is actually at the wrong pitch. So I've got to think about how I'm going to change that because this is keyed specifically. So I'm going to ponder that for a little while. After a while of pondering how I'm actually going to get a drive cog onto this motor, I finally come up with something. So what I did is I took an old cassette off an old bike that we had lying about. I dismantled that and I took the smallest cog out, out of the uh, cassette. And this has 12 teeth. And basically what I did is I put a washer in here so I knew that it was centre, welded this together and then basically I stuck the original sprocket back over the top and tightened it right back up. And now if you take a look at that, it works really nicely. 
So I thought this was pretty cool and now I've got a drive cog for my back wheel and this has 42 teeth on it So I know that the gear ratio is going to be quite nice and how I got this on was I basically put again Another washer in here so I knew that it was centered to this bar and welded it onto the original Drive cog that was on here and the best thing about this is that the free wheel Still works So now that we've got everything installed it's time to put this together and there you have it, a motor's been installed and it's nicely connected up to the back wheel. And I have to admit something, this was a pain. I mean the chain just kept slipping and slipping and slipping, so it took a load of adjustment to get it right. But you know me, I really like to persist with these things, and now we've finally got it into a position where it actually works. So what we're going to do is connect it up to a motor controller and see if we can spin this thing up. And here we go, so I've actually got the motor connected up to the motor controller. So all we've got to do is connect it up to the battery and spin the throttle. Woo! Ready? <laughs> so that works. So that was just awesome, and I'm super glad that I managed to get that motor spinning the back wheel with the motor controller. So, with that being said, that does bring me to the end of part one. And in part two, what we're actually going to be doing is installing all of the electronics onto the frame and the battery carrier on the back so we can actually take this thing out for a test ride because it's been super long overdue. And if you're interested, I'll go into a little bit more detail and how I installed this motor in part two. With that being said, that does bring me to the end of the video. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to put them in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them all. Anyway guys, I hope you have a great day and I will see you later.